Moving on, with just about two months left for the U.S. presidential elections, both Democrat and Republican camps have intensified their campaigning efforts. Now, in the latest, Republican vice presidential candidate J.D. Vance once again slammed his opponent, Tim Balls, and Vice President Kamala Harris while addressing a rally in Pennsylvania. Vance criticized Balls for lying on his military record. He also blamed Harris for her role during the withdrawal of U.S. troops from Afghanistan. Listen to what he said is disgraceful. We're going to talk about a story out of those 13 brave, innocent Americans who lost their lives. It's that Kamala Harris is so asleep at the wheel that she won't even do an investigation into what happened. And she wants to yell at Donald Trump because he showed up. She can, she can go to hell. Vance also defended Republican nominee Donald Trump's camp after the former president's entourage reportedly they spoke about at the Arlington National Cemetery earlier this week. Once blamed the media for turning it into a national news story. Well, I, I think, first of all, the altercation at Arlington Cemetery is the media creating a story where I really don't think that there is one. Now, it, yeah, I mean, it, it, is, it is amazing to me that you have apparently somebody at Arlington Cemetery, some staff member, had a little disagreement with somebody, and they have turned, the media has turned this into a national news story. This comes after the former president, Donald Trump, was invited to the Arlington National Cemetery to pay homage to the 13 U.S. soldiers who died in the suicide bombing attacks at Kabul in 2021. According to reports, an official of the Arlington Cemetery tried to stop Trump's aides from filming the burial sites of those died in recent wars, which is strictly prohibited. In response, Trump's staff resorted to shoving and verbally abusing the official. In the blue camp, Democratic presidential contestant Kamala Harris and her running mate Tim Walz took a bus tour to campaign in the state of Georgia. Both Harris and Walls addressed high school students at Liberty County on Wednesday. The bus tour is set to conclude with a rally at Savannah on, on Thursday. Notably, the Democrats won the 2020 elections in the state of Georgia by the narrowest of margins.